the Visigoths. It's going to premiere at the Baxter Masambi Theatre. And Louis, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. And a delight to absolutely meet the playwright behind the plays <laughs> that I have to say I have enjoyed tremendously. I quote, <laughs> You reek of terror, not blood, and blood is all that will make this go away. That's the sort of tagline for the Visigoths. Yes, and what, it's a line in the play. Yes. And, and it's a line in the play, okay. Mm. What makes you write what have been described as scalpel-wielding writing? You love to go into dark and dangerous situations. Where does this all come from? Um, it's, uh, it comes from a mixture of that is what I enjoy, you know, that I find, I find that to be uh, uh, entertaining. I enjoy writing it. I enjoy uh, experiencing things like that. I mean, I obviously enjoy other things too, but, um, and it comes from the fact that I think we all have a well of awfulness, of darkness mm. inside of us somewhere. Uh, and some of us, uh, we board it up or like other people wallow in it. Um, but I, I just think I have access to it, so I can access that part of myself without having to, to, uh, to exist in it. You know. Mm -hmm. So I just, I d dip my hand in, and I take some awful idea out, and then <laughs> I just <laughs> put it on stage. So the story mm. of the play, it's quite different from any of the others. But you, you have an articulate quality of dialogue, which is we always associated with a, a Falun mm. play. It's fast. It's snappy. Yeah. That, that's how I would describe it. Um, and you have to listen very hard. So tell us a little bit about the story without giving away any spoilers, uh, okay. obviously. Uh, the Visigoths... Um, and where it might have come from. Yeah. Uh, um, it concerns a man newly released from, uh, from prison and he encounters um, a young man whose life he saved years before. Mm -hmm. And so that's what kicks the plot into, into gear. But what the play is actually about uh, is that um, how, we, how we solve our own pasts. And uh, if, we, if we confront our own past and the things that happen to us or the things we happen to do to someone else, um, how, do we, how, how do we solve that in our lives now? And uh, is it a question of dealing with it? Is it a question of ignoring it? Or as the play suggests, is there a way that you can raise it to the ground and completely erase your past and reshape you yourself um, so that you can, you can continue to exist? Mm -hmm. That's a very deep question because I'm sure that there are people who would love to erase their past. Absolutely. And as we know, it's not possible. No. So if you find yourself in a place where you're, you believe your only option is to completely erase your past so that you can live in the now, it means something terrible has happened to you and mm -hmm. uh, you are going to have to handle it or you will live in the darkness forever. Where do you get your inspiration from? I mean, this uh, uh, sounds a lot like revenge in, in, in many ways. Yes. But where does that inspiration come from? What triggers mm. the writing of a play like this? Yeah, it, uh, it's sort of an exploration. I, I, I usually think of a, um, a line or a title or just a moment. I don't uh, think about it in, in terms of uh, themes or ideas, really. That comes out in the writing of the play mm. and then in the rehearsing of the play. You yeah. know? Sometimes I'll hand act as a play and I... I won't really understand the true extent of what is capable in the script until a really good actor interprets it, you know. Mm -hmm. So it comes from just me being a writer. So you sit down and and you go, you know, you just write and write and write and write and write. And then at some point I realize, I go like, oh, this is turning into a thing, <laughs> you know. This yeah. is a two-hander. Yes. Um, you write very intimately I, that's been my experience um which means that we we tend to probe our own consciences as, yeah. as we're listening uh, i think you you must observe people very acutely to get that feeling across to be able to write those words maybe it do, is do that, you find yeah. you're doing that yeah I, I, if i am i'm not i'm not i'm not doing it actively mm, it's not conscious but yeah. i think uh, i think i think good writing takes takes empathy mm -hmm. yes um, 
And so to imagine uh, yourself and to understand things from someone else's point of view mm. and to never judge uh, the, the character. Like, I mean, I, I usually write about pretty mean people. Yes. <laughs> but I, I, I never, while I'm writing it, I never think of them as like, oh, my God, this is a bad guy. You know, yeah, I just think about this. This is a human being who happens to be doing these things. So what what is what is propelling him or her? You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Uh, and they're people we all know. Yes. They're people we've all come across. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, your characters are incredibly recognisable. Yeah, I, and I and I hope that they are. I mean, even even through through heightened dialogue and weird situations, I I hope they come across as as sort of um, very very human. You know, like almost painfully human. Yes. Even while they're saying sort of like funny lines or, yeah. or clever lines or something like that, that they come across as sort of like raw raw human beings. Tell, yeah. tell us a little bit about the actors. Mm. Nicholas Pauling has been in some of your previous plays. And yeah, I think this is our sixth play to kill. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So he must certainly have something that um, works for the characters that you describe. I, I, I just think he's I just think he's a remarkable actor. Mm. I just and it's and and because we've worked together so long and we are friends as well, mm. we have a shorthand on the floor. Right. So we can move through a play pretty quickly and we can and and he's just a pro. So he never comes with ego or or emotions or tries to like find a character or whatever. He does the work. He sits down, he does the work, he works hard, he works fast and he's just it's just easy mm -hmm. and he makes it look easy you know and and daniel newton he's a sort of newbie yeah he's a uh, yeah he's a he's a newbie this is this will be his th third play oh wow but of course he won the flutter cap earlier mm. this year for shadow boxing so he's he's sort of on a hot streak at, at the moment mm -hmm. and uh we were talking a few months ago and he was like isn't there any chance we can work together and i and and i was like wow it could be interesting to have him and nick on stage mm -hmm. so the idea grew there like i knew i had to write for them so that's where it that's where it began where it yeah. grew and I, I we were talking before we came into the studio about performing in the Masambi because yeah. it's such a tiny theatre but it sounds to me as if it's the right ambience very much so for what what you're presenting yeah it certainly helps you know that I, I knew that I was writing for that space too so you, you know that there are certain things just not available you know mm -hmm. you, you can't write a huge show there with a huge cast uh, so I knew it had to be small but I I would have written this play like even if it was in a big theater. I don't mm. think I would have changed m m much because the intimacy, um, the fact that the story plays out between these uh, these two guys, um, like that's uh, if you can draw an audience in into the space between their eyes. Yes. Um, then 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 it becomes something really special. I think. And and Kieran McGregor is doing the lighting again. Yes, yeah, we, uh, yeah, he he worked he's one with of your me. stalwarts. Well, yeah, he worked with me on uh, on my previous play, The Grass Widow, mm -hmm. and he just did an excellent job because it's so hard in that space because you don't have anything. And we're no, a, there's nothing there. Yeah, and we're an independent uh, show, so you start with zero budget, and then it's just um, his his creativity and and how hard he works to make a play because we are dedicated to be even though we're in a small space and we're an independent show it needs to be a professional show it, it, it can't look uh, slap shot you know it needs to be uh, slick and uh, and be beautiful and interesting you know yeah which all of your plays are louis folio and i, I must I, say i, I, I i'm very privileged to be interviewing you i have to <laughs> say that so the dates are the 6th to the 24th of june That's right. Uh, the venue is the Masambu Theatre. You can get uh, tickets on web tickets. That's right. That's right. And then what are the plans afterwards? Um, the hope is that the play does well enough uh, that maybe somebody picks it up, throws some money our way. Um, if, are you listening? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If not, then I'll just uh, write a new one. And, uh, you know, that's the only thing, you know, it's just to keep making plot plays you know mm -hmm. like while we still can because for three years in uh in the in the uh, in uh, in covid we couldn't we couldn't do anything so yes. i feel like i'm three years behind so i i want to i want to write well, and I, produce as many plays as i can i think that your name is still very much out there and you've been delighting audience or maybe delighting isn't quite the right maybe word but you've been right, yeah. making audience <laughs>
<laughs> making audiences think. I mean, the Kingmakers always comes to mind sure. because I, I sort of recognise that so much. Yeah. And I think we all did. And, and, and it, it, your, your plays are thought-provoking, and that's what good theatre should be, that you walk away and you want to talk about and you want to yeah. understand those characters. Cool, thank you. Louis, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks and for me. break a leg thank you. with this one. I hope to get to see this because I, I really do love your work. And uh, we'll be speaking again, I have no doubt, shortly with the next one. That'll be fantastic. Terrific. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs>